am Jacqueline Elliott. Are you tired of making minis? In this video, we're going to go over how to take control of your paycheck. Are you tired of making minis? So you need to take control of your paycheck. Well, how do we do that? How do you take control of your paycheck? I'm starting to sell some cars and I'm just making the minis all the time. Are you caught in that? You know, sometimes we have a lot of people that they go off of the units and they, they sell some vehicles, but they're not holding the gross. And a lot of it has to do with inventory. And yes, a lot of people look at inventory like, oh, let's not talk of inventory. Inventory is a bad word. And what does the manager always says? Walk your inventory, walk your inventory, walk your inventory. But what does that even mean to walk your inventory? And why is it so important? Nobody ever talks about this because it's kind of a drag, honestly. Nobody really wants to do it. But have you ever noticed that a customer comes in on a vehicle and you show it to them and you go and you take them on a test drive and they say they need to think about it and they're not truly convinced or they give you a million objections and then they leave. And you're bummed out, but five minutes later you have another customer that comes in and they magically are looking for the same exact vehicle that you just showed. And guess what? They love it, they're convinced about it, and they wanna buy it. What was the difference? It wasn't that they were looking for that vehicle, let me tell you, it was because you knew about the vehicle, you walked in it, you learned about it, you pushed the buttons, you showed the other customer that, you were so convinced and you learned it so well that you sold the vehicle despite of the vehicle. You sold it because you were convinced and you basically showed them why it was such a great vehicle. You learned about it. Okay, so the reason why inventory is so important is just because of that. Okay, so when you walk your inventory and you know what options you have available, you do a better job at selling the vehicles. Okay, so we talk about the inventory walk and spending 15 to 20 minutes on your inventory walk and what to do. So what I'm gonna tell you is why that is so important and kind of what to do because as we talk about walking the inventory nobody ever talks about what to do with it okay and the reason why it's so important and you can control your paycheck is for the following reasons I'm about to discover right now and you know exactly what you're gonna get paid on it okay but as we go into that learning your trade row and your trade pending if your vehicle has that at the store you work at if you don't know what that is basically all it means is vehicles that get traded in if they're ready to sell or they still have to be, go through service and detail and all of that and if they're waiting for paperwork from finance okay now walking your inventory is important because if you have a vehicle that's sitting there for too long and it's your vehicle okay and it's still sitting there and it's still sitting on that trade pending row it has been moved up to service it's because they're waiting on stips usually now stips could be something as simple as getting proof of residence or income or something like that and if you're involved in that you're finance managers and everybody would know. So you coming to the to the desk or going to your finance manager to say, hey, my vehicle is still on trade row. It's been sitting there for a week and a half or two weeks. Is there something I can do to help you agilitate, agilitate or get the paperwork done fast? What do you need from me? Do I need to call my customer and get something from them? Typically it's something simple as a proof of income or something like that. So if you're involved with that, it genuinely helps that. So in walking your inventory is also knowing those vehicles that are coming in on trade, learning your front row, what has sold, and being able to post those vehicles fast before anybody else does. So I've sold a lot more dirty cars than I have clean cars because I walk my inventory and because I was always with finance and always found out what it is that they were waiting on my my vehicles and I always got paid on them really fast. So it's very important to you to do that. And then another thing that I don't share very often but is, is a really good thing to know is if you're involved in finance and you help them out with that, don't think twice about cutting your deals when they do. Okay, I was a finance manager for a long time and I didn't like cutting, uh, cutting my sales people's uh, deals. There's a lot of things involved on when a vehicle gets financed, on what they get approved and how much is left for product or whatever it is, but I'm going to work extra hard as a finance manager to make sure that that person that's helping me get those steps on those vehicles that they've sold, you know, done because they, you know, we work for each other and we help each other out. So that's another way. But yes, um, you can control your paycheck and know what what, uh, what you can sell them. But not only that, as you're, as you're doing your discovery phase, when you're asking 
the customer what's important to them and they come in on a vehicle that they saw online, you should always know or have two or three cars floating on the back of your mind that you can switch them to and they might be a better option that they haven't even thought about. So it's always good to know that, to know your inventory, know when somebody's coming in to look for a vehicle where it's at. It's like when you go and you look for shirts or something, you go to a store and you have to, you'd say you go to Express or wherever it is that you go buy something or you know men's warehouse or whatever it is or a shoe store and you say hey you know what where are your button-up shirts and then the person that helps you goes and runs and asks the manager hey where are the button-up shirts and he comes back out and goes, oh they're over there well don't you look at that person like hey man is this person really prepared you kind of laugh at them because they're not prepared to show you anything so you want to be prepared you don't want to be that salesperson that they come in and they ask you hey where is that Ford F-150 with you know 20,000 miles at that I saw online and you're like oh hold on let me go check with my manager and you run inside and come back out is this person really gonna be somebody that you're gonna lead into the sale then no, so you have to do your inventory walk, you have to get in the cars, you have to turn them on, you have to push the buttons and really know how they function so you can show them with confidence. You know, if they have a, you know, if they're convertible, uh, open up the top, close it up, you know, make sure you know how everything works so when you get in there, you can tell the customer, instead of you trying to push the buttons, have them, hey, push that button right there, you see that, keep it pushing there, that's what opens the convertible. Let's take that, you know, test right down the road and we're gonna do this and hey, check this out and then you tell them to touch and feel and, and do and push all the buttons and you know how that works because you are truly prepared so that when you get off and you get them to do a walk around away from the dealership and you go and you you pull off of a place that's not the dealership and you get them out of their car you're like hey you know look at this and you know what to what how everything in that vehicle works so you know how to sell it obviously and you know how what's going to be important to them because you've already asked them all the questions that are important to them but hey don't wing it you know a lot of people lose sales because they wing it they don't know how things work they don't know what to offer their customers always know that there's a backup to everything if they if you have a customer that comes in on a vehicle if you have an appointment and they say hey I'm gonna go look at this truck you know always have that truck ready but also think of another couple of trucks because more than likely when they come in they're gonna find something wrong with that vehicle and you're gonna have another one to show them right off the bat and be like hey you know what I actually thought about this with this vehicle and you know hey you know what this one might be better for your family and it might work because you do this or whatever it is but you know you always have to have those backup vehicles on the back of your mind and know that walking your inventory is key the person who knows their inventory the best makes the most money we all know that we hear it all the time but are we really implementing it you know and that's just it the reason why they make the most money is not just because they memorize the vehicles but because they know how to switch their their customers to other vehicles that are going to make them the most money i promise you as you learn your vehicles and as you do better controlling your pay that with your paycheck your managers are going to be are more apt to tell you what they have in the vehicles and you're going to have more control of what you can sell so you know walking your inventory walking your trade row you know helping your finance department being on the same page you know is is great but not only that being a true you know servant to your people and discovering all their needs but giving them options is very very important but being being completely convinced that you know how that vehicle works so that you can obviously do it with conviction and show them the right way that it works so um, anyway hope that helps I um, just want to let you know hey make sure you walk your inventory it takes a little bit of time but it pays off big time at the end are you new to sales and you hate feeling like you're new? Listen, send me a text at 918-210-0254. Just tell me I'm new, and I'm gonna send you some tips on what mistakes not to make as a new salesman.